Hey guys, it's Math, and welcome back to more Disappointment the Character. Why does Dark Samus not use her moveset from her assist trophy? At the very least, give her like the forward smash with the pepper spray bullets and the down smash with all like the phase on tentacles. That would have been enough. At least a little difference here. But this, like, come on. A little upsetting. Anyway. Dark Samus' route is all about corrupting the heroes. For example, we have now taken over uh, Zelda. Ow. And Link is not happy about that. Damn it. Barrel. <laughs> the way that was framed, it looks like I just punched right through Zelda to get to Link. Which is something Dark Samus would do, probably. I feel like that would be canon. Probably is, I don't know, I haven't played the other two games yet. Ready? I've only played Metroid Prime 1, which you can watch on this channel, and go do it, because I know you didn't! Okay. I'm gonna need you two off the ground. That way, you're easier to deal with. Because Krav's recovery isn't great. You know, when he stays still. Both of them together is a bit... Well, that part's done. One down, one to go. It's also about characters in general who have been hypnotized, like, you know, Robin, who I'm pretty sure was hypnotized in the original game. I have never played Awakening. I'm dumb. My first Fire Emblem game was Face Birthright. Take that how you will, Fire Emblem fans. I do have the special edition of Fire Emblem Fates, actually. The one with all three versions on the same cart. You know, the way the game should have been in the first place. And now you can't get the last version anymore because digital games are a scourge on this earth. But now, that's neither here nor there. We're playing a Metroid character. How? Come on, I had that. I didn't have that, though. I, I kind of just fucked that one up. Did he catch it? No. Yes. Get down. Ugh. I cannot get down. There we go. Okay, Ryu is being a pain in the ass. Got him. Thank you, Ken, for holding him in place, finally. First time Ken has done anything for me. Nice. Alright, who's next? Uh, oh, right, because they're all under... Like, the clone control, is, I believe, is what this reference is. The first movie. <laughs> I found out at some point that... You know how Mew has that whole, like, speech at the end with Mewtwo, and it's like, ah, yes, it's not about, like, who you're... who you were born by or where you're from. We're all on this earth together. You know, that great speech about equality. Uh, in the original Japanese version, Mew just tells Mewtwo that he'll never be accepted. Use a dick in the original translation. <laughs> that's... That's just kind of funny to me. Because most people know the movie for that line. <laughs> and it's not even real. I get totally why they changed it. I have not killed a single one. Wow. There we go. These two need to get out of here with a dash attack? Okay. Sure. Wasn't expecting that to be their finale, but okay. 7.5. We're doing alright. We're doing a little bit better than Samus, that's for sure. Why did I speak? Uh, I think Luigi is supposed to be Mr. L in this case. Yeah, because everyone here is, uh, well... If we were playing with Bowser as well, this would have been a Paper Mario reference in full, but... For some reason, they chose Daisy. Next Paper Mario game? Actually, yeah, I think Origami came... Or... Bleh, Origami King came out after this game, so... I presume Daisy was not in that game. I also know the Thousand Year Door remake is coming out, like, next year at some point. 
I honestly might pick it up. Because Thousand Year Door, I'm hoping is the same will have the same thing happen to me that the original Paper Mario was, where it's like I just had to give it another chance. Luigi's dead. I just noticed that. Ugh. I need someone over here. I need them to stop peppers peppering me with items. Okay, come on. Oh, I just noticed my damage. I um Hi. You know what? We're gonna let that uh do things. It's not falling. It was supposed to fall. You know what? Everyone come here. Damn it. Oh shit. Everyone come here. Okay, well that killed one of them at the very least. And I have this on my side. Everyone down. Well, Mario's gonna have to come down. How did he live?! Get out of here. Oh shit! Whoa! Not today, bitch! 210! <laughs> by the skin of our teeth, we did not die by it. Wow! Okay, game. I get it. But fuck you. <laughs> I didn't do that badly. Are they fighting each other? Yes. They are not on the same side. For some reason, I thought they would have been on the same side. No. Famous duo. Ridley and Samus. Working together. Ooh. Mine. Okay. You have to let me have one. Them's the rules. Oh, and I got the good one. That's all that matters. As long as I get the good one. Ow. Yeah, here. There we go. Thank you, Alucard, because I'm about to die from lava. That just kind of looks like a cool background at that point. All right, that got us to 8.4. I just need 0.6, and we'll be good. I think I can pull that out in the boss, even if I die. Hopefully. Honestly, us taking that much damage kind of hurt our ranking. Everything else was going fine. Up until the Paper Mario reference. Ugh. Just gotta dodge a little bit more. There are some differences between Dark Samus and Zero... Dark Samus Zero Suit Samus. Yeah, there are a few differences between them. Between Samus and Dark Samus, mostly in animation. So nothing really that matters. It's mostly just style with, between the two. But I would have liked if there were some proper differences. Okay, let's not fuck this up this time. Come here. I'm ready this time. Don't hit down on this platform. Wow. Imagine. It was that simple all along. It's like this bonus game was made for children. Never lost a game in my life. Alright, I assume the boss is still... Yep, match hand, crazy hand. Dual destinies, all that stuff. Hi, guys. Round two. Kick. Are oh, you starting with this move already? There we go. Alright, we're good on there. I got shot, and that hit me on both counts. Nice. Are they doing a team attack? Yes. Oh shit, double laser. Just jump up. There we go. Got one down. Crazy, I'm gonna need you to go down as well. There we go. My one's down, I'm going to charge up. Because I think they're getting ready for a team attack. Yep. Oh wow, that's so hit. Oh, that buries me! Ugh. Not dealing with that semi-spike again. There we go. Dodge that. Not dealing with the lasers today. Actually, you can take this. There we go. That time I dodged. You have to air dodge out of it. Probably how they intended for you to do it in melee, too. <sighs> really? Bombs again? Bombs are a pain in the ass with you in particular. There we go. Okay. They're almost done. They want me dead, however. 
by doing this. Ooh. That buried me. Did I kill him with the... Shit. Oh, hi. 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 Help! Fuck. I'm still alive? I need, I need to know what his next move is. Okay. Hi! Nope, we're going down this time. You're out of here. You're out of here! Ooh! <laughs> so that was called pause buffering. It's a speedrunning technique. I don't know how we managed to get out of that one, honestly. Oh, come on! I played so well at the end. Come on! That's really gonna be the first one we don't make it to 9.0 for? I survived. It would have actually given me more points if I died. And just, like, reset to have better health. That's the honest truth, and that sucks. I had to do so much work to survive at those high percents, I should get rewarded. We're not having the conversation about if I should have been at those percents, I should have been rewarded for surviving at them. <sighs> Moving on. What is my record with Dark Samus, though? Like, have I at least done better than 8.9? I assume, hopefully? Wow, we only got one spirit for that. Gee, thanks, game. Nope. 8.9 is actually just my general limit. I have hit the glass ceiling with Dark Samus, and it's 8.9. That just feels bad. Next time we're playing Yoshi. See ya then!